Hey guys, what's good? You got Sniper Aim here, and today I'm bringing you guys something different. This is not a UU match. This is going to be a 6th gen RU match versus Glory. Now, I want to touch bases on something. Uh, I tried to upload a random battle on um, Pokemon Showdown Live with the new sprites, but that was acting up. But I'll see what I can do about that if I, uh, if I can still upload it. But if not, um... I guess I'll just try something else, but for now, I'm just going to bring you guys this. Um, but yeah, looking at his team, uh, Cabalion and uh, Toxicrobe looks like it can put in some work. So as long as I save those and play right, I think I could pretty much handle his team. Uh, this Vivillon is looking like a threat, but I pretty much think I can handle it. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so I leave, I leave off with my Cabalion, and he leaves off with, uh, with his Vivillon. And uh, yeah, I iron hit off the bat first turn because I knew he was gonna put me to sleep, and that was fine and everything. So I'm gonna switch on to my Tysacro, uh predicting him to Quiver Dance, and um, right here I'm going to uh, Sucker Punch, uh, thinking he was gonna attack me, but he made the really good play and he switched out to his uh, Gramble, which is fine. I'm not really worried about it. So yeah, uh, I go uh, into my Claydol because I knew I could eat up any hit he wanted to go for, and he chose to uh, he chose to go for Play Rough, and uh, yeah. So right here, I'm going to take this opportunity to get on my Stealth Rocks because uh, I wanted to kill this Vivilla on the Switch, so that was fine. And uh, he just went for the Play Rough again, I guess just to get some damage, and I went straight for the Toxic. Just to wear this Grand Bull down because this Grand Bull is, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little bulky. And uh, yeah, I just want to get some steady damage on this thing. So I go into my Aromathies. Aromathies, or whatever you call this thing, this Perfume Pokemon, I don't know, but yeah. He goes for the play rough, uh, yeah, I eat that up nicely. He goes for the heal bell, which is pretty annoying, but it's fine. I just, I'm just i just gonna go for the wish right here. And uh, he's gonna go straight for the thunder wave, uh, paralyzing my aromatis. And that's gonna be a little bit unfortunate because uh, I, I went straight for the moon blast trying to hit this thing. So uh, yeah, right here I'm gonna go for the aromatherapy just to get off this uh, paralysis because uh, I didn't really want it hindering me too much. And uh, I protect this turn just to get some lefties back. Um, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit of health. You never know when it could come through. So uh, I get some, I get some hacks on him. He misses the play rough, which is great, and everything. So he decides to switch out into his Cradley as I, uh, I believe I go straight for the moon blast on this turn. Does a nice twenty percent to this Cradley, and I'm back at full HP. So that's fantastic. So he's gonna go for his own stuff, rocks. I'm gonna go for the moon blast again. And get a crit. Uh, I don't know how much that mattered, but I don't think it mattered at all. So yeah, I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, go into his Cabalion because I knew he couldn't touch me. And uh, he goes for the Toxic, which is great. So right here, I know I can set up a, a free sub on whatever you want to uh, switch into. And he chose his Grand Bull, which is fine. So right here, uh, I didn't want to Swords Dance first because I thought he was gonna uh, break my sub out off the bat. And uh, he decided to go for the rest first turn. I could have as deed, honestly, right here and just two hit KO this Grand Bull, which, you know, it's whatever. So, I didn't uh, um, Swords Dance again because I, I figured he'd break my sub and then just uh, do massive damage on the next hit. But, uh, I don't know. I think I should have just SD'd anyway. But, yeah. He, I go straight into uh, Claydol in just a second because I didn't need it anymore. It did its job. It got a rocks. Uh, that was all that I, that was all I needed to do basically. So I go into my Toxic Croak, uh, just to um, pretty much uh, try to hit this Grand Bull as hard as I can with the Poison Jab. But he makes a good play in Saxon Vivillon. Now he brings back in his Grand Bull and gets some Intimidate on me. So what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna Swords Dance. Uh, I know he's gonna play rough, and I knew I could live it. And it really didn't matter that he got the uh, that um, attack fall because as you can see, I just KO him. Uh, with the poison jab, which is great. Now uh, he brings in his hit on lead. So what I'm gonna do right here is uh, I'm gonna switch into this aromatis because I know it can eat up any hit he wanted to go for. He chose to go for um, the uh, fake out, which is fine and everything. So right here he's gonna decide to go back into Snorlax and uh, eat up this moon blast real quick. So yeah, I'm not really too worried about this Snorlax anyway. So right here, I figure I'm gonna go into Kieran right now because I can't see him doing anything anyway with this Snorlax in my way. So I'm just gonna pretty much sack it and get off as much damage as I can with the uh, Draco. 
Now, I really thought he was gonna arrest or something, but he, I guess he just decided to kill me, which I guess it, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, uh, he drain punch. I mean, I drain punch him and I uh, knock out the Snorlax, which is great. No more wall. Now, uh, he brings in his X Plow. Now, this really caught me off guard. He has a Choice Scarf X Plow, which was able to take out my Tides Cloak. But, you know, it was fine because I had Cabalion waiting and I knew I could eat up any hit he wanted to go for. So, right here. I'm gonna decide just to take this thing out with a close combat, and uh, yeah, this X Plow is uh, it's a dead X Plow. So yeah, now he's gonna go into his Hitmonlee. Now, uh, I'm gonna close combat right here, and uh, I believe he predicted me to um to switch out, but I uh, I stayed in because I didn't really know what this Hitmonlee was gonna do, and yeah, that turns out being the game in my favor. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty fun game. Uh, I had a couple of uh, RU games. And I, I really like the t uh, the tier so far, you know. Even though it's not um, even though it's not official yet, um, I'm using just the uh, Pokemon based off the usage stats for uh, for RU. So yeah, it's a pretty good uh, good game and whatnot. So thank you guys for watching, and I make sure to bring you guys more later.